Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. It is. His historic words that Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru welcomed the freedom that India and Indians had earned after decades of struggle and sacrifice. Despite gaining freedom, India did not become the great democracy that it now is. It remained a constitutional monarchy with King George VI as its head of state. It is nearly two and a half years later, on 26 January 1950, when the Constitution of India came into effect that India became the most populous democracy in the world. It is on this day that our nation became the Republic of India. It is the momentous occasion that we celebrate on 26 January each year, India's Republic Day. Each year, we look forward to our Republic Day with great excitement and enthusiasm. The arrival of the President, the unfurling of the flag, the 21 gun salute, the marching regiments, the state tabulas, the performance by the school children, each of these is leaves us full of pride. Each of these lend meaning to our Republic Day. There is, however, much more to the Republic Day celebration. The President's visit to the Amur Jawan Jyoti at the start of the day is a homage to all those who sacrifice their lives at the altar of patriotism. The importance of the Republic Day of India goes well beyond the fact that it is one of the three national holidays of the country. It is the day which marks the adoption of the Constitution of India by the people. The pledge in the preamble to a constitution talks of India as a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Each of these is an ideal that formed the foundation on which this nation is built. Republic Day reminds us of the elevated values enshrined in this scared document that we call our constitution. The Republic Day is a day of national pride. The grand display of military pride serves as a reminder that the security of our territorial sovereignty comes at the cost of many sacrifices. The development that we achieve each year takes us further ahead on the path that our freedom fighters had dreamed of. It is a reminder that we may claim with dignity the fundamental rights that our constitution guarantees, but at the same time, we are also bound to perform the fundamental duties that this very constitution prescribes. The gallantry awards awarded on this day are made to teach us the value of courage and value. The appearance of young children, recipients of the National Bravery Award, is made to inspire us into selfless acts. The Republic Day is also an exercise in direction setting for the country as a whole. We look forward to the chief guest, usually a dignitary, a head of state or a government from a friendly country. This is of great significance. It tells us of the diplomatic, economic and military relations between that country and our own. When we are asked, what is Republic Day? 
we can merely choose to defer to the parade and the fact that it is a national holiday. We can on the other hand choose to reflect on the deeper significance of the day, the various conventions that are followed, and the importance of the constitution, which is an all encompassing document which embeds Indians' diversity and upholds equality, justice, and liberty. This year, when we talk about our Republic Day, let it be formed a place of deep personal commitment to the national building process. Our nation may be vast, but we are its building blocks, and our Republic Day brings with it a reminder to strengthen ourselves and dedicate ourselves to bringing our country its due pride. Let this be our dream, our ambition and our plea on 26 January this year. Thank you very much. Subscribe, please. 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 Subscrib